Hey guys, welcome to your third Minecraft modding tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to add an ingot into the game. As you can see, I have my copper ingot right here. I know it says gold ingot. I messed up and click save instead of save as, but that's fine. So now we have this copper ingot. Uh, and how I create it is I have this uh, app called Pinta, which is just like paint.net for Windows. And I just went, I opened up a texture of a gold ingot. Oh, goodness. Let's take that out. I opened up a texture of a gold ingot, went to adjustments, hue and saturation, and see you can move the hue and that changes the color drastically. That's honestly how you can make any ingot you want in the game. Uh, so I'm just going to click cancel there because I already have it. Um, how I got that is I downloaded a Minecraft source, opened it up, and looked for the assets file, and then I just dragged it onto my desktop so now I could use all their assets. So I'm going to go to my finder, I'm going to go to uh, desktop, assets, Minecraft, textures, items, and it's gold. I wish it was copper, but I accidentally named it gold. Get your copper ingot, copy that, and then we're going to go to our Eclipse, say new package. So remove that. Instead of assets tutorial mod dot textures dot blocks, we're gonna say assets tutorial mod dot textures dot items. Finish, right click, paste that sucker, and now I've got we're gonna rename it of course. Refactor rename copper ingot dot ping PNG. Let's go back to our main tutorial mod file and let's add it. So we'll say public static item ingot copper ingot. Now we're going to need to import item. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, let's import it ourselves then. Import net.minecraft.item item. We'll have to do it ourselves. whatever. And then we'll go down here, we'll say ingot, copper ingot, equals new, we'll say tm items, and then, don't need to pass anything in, dot set unlocalized name, copper ingot. So we have tm items, but we don't have a tm items class yet, so we're gonna make it, we're gonna browse. It's going to be a subclass of net minecraft item. And then we're going to actually create a new package for it mod.item. Let's drag it in. Okay. So now it extends item. We need to say public tm items. Whoops. Did we do public static for this one? No, we just did public. All right, so we have public TM items. We're going to say this dot set creative tab, creative tabs dot tab. What tab should we put in our materials? That sounds right. Now that we set that, we'll do the side only thing again. Side only, side dot client. And then we'll go public static. Actually, we could straight copy and paste this. I know copy pasta, copy and pasting is not that good. But as long as we're smart and we change it, we'll say this dot item icon instead of block icon. And let's check to make sure everything else is OK. Let's click Save. And I think that should do it. Now let's give this a test. Ah, I know one thing I missed, so let's stop that right there. We need to change the lang, and I believe it's item dot copper ingot dot name equals copper ingot. Make sure there's no space in between the equal signs. Play. All right. Now I believe I did it right. I hope 
Uh, I'll need to check to make sure that this is the correct way to type it, because sometimes I do forget. It's a little different between blocks and items, but I believe that's what you're supposed to do. All right, come on now. Let's play. Let's see, we might need to create... No, we shouldn't have to create a new world. It should be fine. Uh, so let's go to game mode zero. Oh, I was already in game mode zero. Game mode one, and materials. That's where it should be. Yep, it's not here. Let's try a new game. Let's delete. Create new world. Cheats. Gotta have the cheats, man. Ah, I'm an idiot. I don't think we need to create a new world. Let's finish this instantiation. Game registry dot register item. Ingot, copper, ingot. I'm embarrassed, guys. I'm really embarrassed. Okay, let's stop this. Uh, let's save, and now we run. So I had in, I had given it everything it needed, but I didn't register it with the game registry. So that's what you get when you forget the little things. Those are what'll get you. You'll spend you'll spend all this time creating some amazing code, and then spend three days debugging something that's just like a missing comma in a string. All right, let's go in here. Let's check what we got. Game mode one. Materials. There it is. Copper ingot. Except, what's up with that? It's named right. So why isn't this texture showing? Let's find out. All right, guys. You know how I said copy pasta is okay as long as you know. You make sure you do everything right. Well, I didn't do it right. I'm. No excuse. I'm the worst. Register block icons. Why would we do that for items? We just register icons. They're not blocks. What are you thinking, Chris? What are you thinking? So now that we run this, it should work amazingly. And I guess that's a lesson to everyone, including me. You better be sure you know what you're doing when you start copying and pasting. So if we check now, we got two things. We got copper ore. We got copper ingot. Can't do anything with it yet, but in the next tutorial, I will show you guys, hopefully without messing up, how to um, add recipes and smelting to the game. So you could uh, put a bunch of ingots together to form a block, and you could smelt down ore to form ingots. Thanks for watching.